guys welcome to my channel uh today i'm gonna try some new makeup i only have a couple products though to try because i don't and i'm gonna use my fingers because i don't have a sponge because i'm really prepared <laughs> i got this soap and glory kick-ass all day wear foundation at target recently it was actually on clearance and i got it for under five dollars but i don't know if the shade is okay for me and when i opened it up it was like leaking out if you guys can tell so we're gonna see how this goes but i've heard nothing about good things about this fucking why is he fucking about this foundation so we're just gonna i really hope it's not too dark for me but it probably will be so bear with me you know because yeah, things oh god it's ripping oh i'm probably not gonna put a lot on just because i'm not that person who a lot of foundation on usually. Put on my neck in case it is too dark. Oh, I'm using this mirror that's in this like Bare Minerals holiday collection thing that I got last year. It's not from last year, but yeah. Oh my god, this is gonna be so dark. Oh my god. Oh. I'm scared. Oh my god, and it looks green or something. Okay, maybe if I like... I like that it's like liquidy, so I feel like and it doesn't feel like super weird doing it with my hands, which is nice. Like, a lot of foundations I feel like when you do your hands, or use your hands I should say, it doesn't always feel good, but this actually doesn't feel bad. Uh, this foundation is like sweat proof and all this kind of stuff. Why am I using my hand, my left hand? Apparently, this is the hand, no tools challenge and the left hand challenge. That was not intentional, but whatever. Oh man, it looks really good. Oh, why does it have to be so dark? Oh my god, so far. Holy crap, it looks really good on my skin. Okay, ow. This is hurting. Okay. Like, I'm not gonna lie. My forehead is always super dry, so... We're just gonna try our best to make this work on our forehead. Cause my, I feel like the driest part of my face is my forehead. I feel like I've recently realized that. But my cheeks look really good. Oh my gosh. I mean... Pretty positive too dark for me and I feel like it's like kind of olive-y toned like, like an olive undertone it's too dark but honestly though the finish is really pretty like it's very natural and like kind of dewy so I don't hate that I mean you got, uh, cameras are liars Robbie Christie is right like why and I'm also going to try this elf new hydrating camo concealer if you're gonna if you're not gonna asked me to compare it to the regular camo concealer. I do not have that. I never bought it. I bought the HD lifting concealer from e.l.f. I think last year. But that one is like really yellow and kind of dark on me. So I don't even, I don't use it. So yeah. How do you freaking open this package? Okay, I got it. And I got the shade light peach i've actually never tried a concealer that claims to be hydrating so this packaging got light peach like i said i'm really really excited for this because this foundation could use some lightening up obviously and also because it's supposed to be hydrating and girl i've got normal dry skin so you best believe i need it Ooh. put this foot much concealer on but because this foundation is really light I'm gonna go crazy with this concealer okay that looks good enough for me use my fingers like I said oh <laughs> might as well keep the consistency Okay, 
bad. I like that it like doesn't look too um oh it does look like high tree. It feels kinda of nice I also don't have any powder so I really hope this like dries down. Kind of blended. Blending makeup in with a finger is not easy. Like at all. Okay, I might have to. Ow! This hurts my hand holding this freaking thing. Ooh, my under eyes look really nice though. I just feel like I look like I have a lot of makeup on my face. Like. But to be fair, this is more product than I usually use on my face when it comes to high, um, concealer and foundation, so... Just trying to blend it in and make it look good. Ow, this freaking thing is heavy. Okay. Ugh, can't see through it. Ugh, okay, wait. Doing some maneuvering here, sorry. Okay, that's a little better. I didn't blend my freaking forehead. And I'm definitely gonna do like a full face using this concealer at some point. That's my plan anyways, because I use concealer for foundation a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot often. Often. Okay. Let's see how we look, shall we? I mean, I don't look bad. Honestly, like, yes, everything is still tacky, but I think it's mostly the concealer that's making it tacky. But honestly, my skin looks like, yes, I look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but I also look like glowy and healthy and like dewy without even putting highlighter on, which for me is like kind of unheard of because I feel like the only foundation that makes me look like that is. L'Oreal Pro Glow and even that I feel like it only looks like that when I'm like in really hot weather like I wore it in Florida and that it looked really good but yeah this looks pretty good I'm not I can see why people really like this foundation and I like this concealer but to be honest with you I'm not super picky about concealers like I feel like I'm more picky about the color of a concealer than the formula and honestly like I mean I think it's the kind of coverage I like like it's not super super it's not bad coverage. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's full, because I don't even know what full means. I mean, like, I feel like when people say, like, oh, it's, like, creasing, or it's, like, not full coverage, or blah, 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 I'm like, what are you showing me? Like, what is, like, what? I don't really know what you're talking about, so, yeah. But honestly, this looks really, really good, honestly. And I don't feel like it looks, like, I don't feel like that foundation looks crazy with the concealer. I mean, before it, you know. I mean, like, I'm gonna show you my arm. Okay, that's... Uh, I need to put my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm like, trying to show you. Oh, uh, I feel like it doesn't even look that much darker than my skin tone. Like, in the bottle. And I think it is. But like I said, honestly, it looks like really healthy and natural. I mean, I do look like I'm wearing makeup, like, I don't think that's, like, a secret, but I think, like, the amount of product I used is probably half the problem, but yeah, so here it are, here they are, I don't have the rest of my face products with me, which probably sounds horrible, but whatever, so this is how it looks so far, the concealer and the foundation, I think they look really good together, I mean, I'm really, I mean, I kind of wish I would have gotten a lighter shade in this, but at the same time, like, I'm just glad I picked it up for under $10. Like, the fact that I got this for, like, $5, actually less than $5, is awesome. Yes, it's not my perfect shade, but I can make it work with, like, this con with concealers that are like this and stuff like that, but... I feel like it's drying. Now I feel like everything's drying down and looking kind of cakey now. But that might be because I have really dry skin and also because, yeah. Oh, I looked at myself in my bathroom mirror and oh man, I do look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now. Okay, I'm gonna use 
a setting spray that I never use, but I feel like my face could use some of it. So like a Sephora Beauty Amplifier spray, but it doesn't smell good at all, but. Like it straight up smells like alcohol, but, but I feel like my face could use some hydration in some way, shape, or form. Even though this is probably not gonna make my face look any more hydrated, but at least it makes my face look wet. So. so yeah, I will let you guys know how this looks. But I mean, it's a hydrating concealer. It's a. I feel like honestly, I would look better if I had a full face of makeup on right now. So, but like I said, I don't have a full face of makeup products with me, and but honestly, so far, both products I would use again. And like I said, I'm going to use this again in another video, using it with like other foundations that I, I'm not trying for the first time like this one. Probably wasn't the best idea, but they're not looking horrible. And I'm also going to, like I said, use this by itself as foundation and concealer at some point because I like doing that. But yeah, I think the color's not bad for me. And yeah, I don't hate it. So... Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I feel like I always say subscribe really fast. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you have tried this foundation and if you love it. I mean, I've seen literally like no negative reviews about this foundation. And it's made in France, which is really fancy and shit. And I don't know, man. Like, I'm just... Yeah. So, see you in my next video.